Morning guys and girls of YouTube. It's Monday morning, we're loving life. Start of a fresh week. If you watched the video last night, thank you very much. It was absolutely brilliant, the support we got. The likes and the views, absolutely brilliant. There was a comment in there, we've been calling Waste the wrong name. <laughs> I've called it Insert Waste all these years. It's Inner Hurt Waste. So, rolls off the tongue a bit about Insert, but Inner Hurt Waste, thanks for bringing that up. Adapt, overcome, I'll start using that word now, and probably people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Me and Steve has been brainstorming over the weekend, and what we want to do, we want to give something back to you lot. So, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, one lucky winner is going to win £1,000. So we're going to enter every one of your names into a number generator and that's going to pick one lucky person out and that person I'm going to give £1,000 to. It doesn't matter if you're overseas, anywhere, because I'll transfer it direct out of my bank. If you are local, I'll give you the cash and if you want to be on film, we'll video you. So, good luck and help us get there, please. What do you think, Hugo? Thousand pound? What do you mean you're gonna subscribe? So then, guys, after my dad's just said that, obviously that's a big announcement, probably the title of the video, so we appreciate every single one of you guys, especially you early birds who have been there from the very start. It means a lot just that you're showing a bit of support and we really do appreciate it, so I hope you guys know that. But anyway, I've got a little bit of an unboxing here that we're going to show you. We've been looking forward to this for a few weeks. My dad's just gonna give you a little sneak peek now. As you can see, a bunch of stuff. We've got some new uniform. Now, my dad's going to be the model for this part. He's going to show you the old stuff that he's been wearing for a good few years now. So just give him a nice little twirl, Dad. Like you're on the catwalk. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. So here we go, guys. There's a new uniform. Dad's just going to put that on now. There we go, guys. Would you look at that? D&J Projects in the new black uniform for the Facebook, Instagram and YouTube with Dad's name. And then on the back... To let everyone know now that we're on YouTube, decided to get some new uniform, guys. I hope you like it. All the lads will have this now. I'd like to say thank you to Quick Stitch Embroidery and Print Limited. We'll put a link in the description below, just so if you guys ever want any decent stuff, it's absolutely fantastic. I've always used them. They've always looked after us. Thank you so much. So then, guys, what do you think of the new uniform? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let us know in the comments. We'll appreciate the feedback. Don't get it wrong, we're still going to be using this blue. This blue will still be in use, but we will be transitioning into the black at some point, full time. So guys, we have got a fencing installation today. It is in for the two days. It's probably not going to take two days. The thing was, we've already been to this customer's house twice already to try and do a panel replacement, but his posts are crumbling, they're cracked, they're splitting. As soon as you take one panel out, the post is almost crumbling away to nothing. So we came to the compromise and the conclusion that you need a new fence. There's no two ways about it. Your posts have been in for 20 years, they're crumbled away. They've only got three steels in most of them when they should have four. And I only know that because when we put a panel in, one of the tops fell off. And I'll show you that when we get to the job crazy really definitely in need of a new fence so that's what we're going to do like i said we tried a panel replacement didn't work going to put a new fence up instead so when we do get there we're going to show you but for the time being i'm going to make a few panels on the panel master i'm not going to show you too much probably nothing because that's going to be a separate video on a wednesday for you guys because there has been some questions asking about this machine so that's what we're going to do we're going to show you that machine when it's in full working force, when there's two guys on both ends, because that is a double-sided machine, guys. It's an amazing machine, and we'll show you that on a Wednesday video in the future. Pretty soon as well, so not too far away. So I'm going to crack on with this, make a few six-by-sixes, and then we'll see you guys probably at the fencing job. So then, guys, I've made all the panels that were needed for today and the rest of the week. 
So we've got a little bit of stock in there as well. That's what we like to see. So my dad's out on a grab. I'm not sure if he's filmed. If he has Wicked, you've already seen the content. If not, he's gone to do a quick delivery and then he will be back. So right now I'm gonna load up the OA with Blade, get the fencing materials all ready for that job. And then we'll see you on side, guys. <laughs> That's all the concrete loaded. We've already got the panels at the job, so that's a bonus. And we've got a few gravel boards here. Now we'll get the tools on. So the tools are on, the concrete's on, the panels are at the job. We are ready to go. See you on site, guys. So then we've arrived on site to show you the job. We're replacing all this. with brand new posts and brand new gravel boards and panels. As you can see, the posts are absolutely knackered. I mean, I don't know who made that, but I'm sure there's meant to be four steels in that. Yet again, we're back to the same thing, cutting corners. Starting from there, working our way down. Removing the posts as we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a post here and then you traders will know this, we'll straddle the posts so we're not hitting the posts every single time. So that's where the first hole is going, on the first post. Right flush and tight here. As you can see, the old installers didn't fancy getting up close to that. But we'll do a proper job at D&J and we'll get this up real close here and run down the garden. So that's the first job. So then we're just uh, putting this line. This is an amazing line, this is. Look at the thickness of this line. Steve has got a habit of hitting lines and snapping them. So we've got these lines. We'll sell them in the shop. You can hit this with a shovel. It can scrape up against the post lock and it don't break. I mean, I've been called for it. Everyone's keep on saying it's my granddad's washing line. But cracking bit of kit, that. Right, these posts, we're literally touching them with the crumbler. I don't think it's the correct steel they've used. I'm not sure. Because it's rotten from the inside out. I don't think they've been put in properly either. Stevie's going to demonstrate by just uh, pulling it out. I'm going to try. He's not a strong lad. Ain't no concrete on that. Right, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're coming out a bit easier and all, which is good for us, not so good for the customer. That's two pulled out. I don't want to jinx it, but if they all pull out like that, it's all good for us. So the first one's up, guys. Remember that trader's trick that my dad told you where we'll, we won't go in the same holes where the original posts were? Oh well, yeah, so that's the original. But I think they've put them there for a reason, because that's our hole and there's bloody post fix or something concrete. Someone's beat us to it. <laughs> Bastards. Just onto the fourth bay now. Little bit of progress. Thankfully we're past the shed now, because that was uh, a... That was in a master's ear roll. A master's ear roll, like my dad says. It was a little bit tight. Looking nice though. 
Just gonna work this one with a couple gravel boards because it's starting to drop drastically. And then definitely a few gravel boards in this one. But then that will be the end of the drops. And we'll work our way down there. You can see these panels and these posts, look at them. They're terrible. They're definitely in need of replacement. Look at the posts. And then look down that line. What line? Yeah, what line? <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, definitely in need, but we'll sort it out from. So we've got that fourth one in now. And as you can see, guys, we've pretty much used two full gravel boards, but we've done a few fancy cuts to get them into halves. Just to make sure that this step wasn't too much down and then the customer would be looking straight over into next door because we want to keep the privacy for both of them. One more drop to go down here. Thinking this is going to be a two gravel board drop. And then like you seen earlier, little bit of a straighter run. One gravel board, one six by five, six foot total, straight to the gate. Hopefully you guys can see that and the sun's not affecting it. It's looking quite nice. This is the double gravel board fencing. As you can sort of see, it's just above six foot, only slightly. And now we are working our way down the garden. Probably gonna do one or two more for the day and then come back tomorrow. It's looking quite smart now. What a difference. Right then guys gonna get another one in for the day I don't know if you guys can see that obviously it's in line with our next post hole we're thinking that is the old manhole so obviously we went tried it with the break off didn't like it didn't even have a single break had a little look around we're thinking that's a manhole so either this bay is gonna be slightly smaller or slightly longer being a seven foot and we should miss it so i'll update you when we know what we're doing so guys i'll just show you again what we're dealing with six foot pretty much falls here there's nothing we can do about that we do not want to be breaking that it might not even be in use who knows but we don't want to be risking anything like that from there to there so what we're going to do we're going to go and put a seven foot bay in. So we're going to be a foot past it. Hopefully there's no drains or anything. There is a drain pipe there, but it's obviously just water drainage from the conservatory. So as you can see, it's, it's a big boy. We're going to go past it. So what me and Blake are going to do now, as we wait for my dad to come back in the grab, because he's been out grabbing for the last hour, we're going to secure this gap here with a panel because next door has a dog and we don't want that getting loose. We're going to dig this hole ready for tomorrow, clean up the garden. And you can just see those posts down there. We're going to get them to front because you can just see the pile as well of waste, not insert waste, inert waste, apparently. <laughs> so we're going to put those posts down there. Dad's going to grab them. He's on his way and we'll dig a hole ready for tomorrow. As you see, guys, our hole is dug for the seven foot. Lovely and deep. It's a shame about that, but it happens, don't it? Sometimes you never know what's going to be under the ground. But oh well, we've dug the seven. Like you guys have seen before, we make those seven foots. So it's not too much of a problem. That's pretty much it for the day, guys. Hope you've liked what you've seen so far. If so, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're new. And remember, guys, 1,000 subscribers. One of you are going to win £1,000. Crazy. Tell all your friends to get subscribed to the channel. We're not going to bombard you with saying subscribe to the channel and like all the time now. We've done our bit. We appreciate every single one of you doing that. And we shall see you guys tomorrow, that being Tuesday. See you then. Morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. Been a bit busy. It's the first time we've had a chance to film. Stevie is off to do the fencing job. I'm going to meet him on site. But as you can see, I am fully loaded with bags. I'm going to deliver all these bags to different locations across Nottingham to different traders. Then I'm going to meet my son, Stevie, on site. Quick, quick one, quick one, people. I'll just have a good look at us because everyone's saying we look like brothers. Every job we go to, we always say, yeah, that's my dad. And like, <laughs> we don't look. Leave it's a comment in the video yeah. below. Try and guess how old I am. Says he has good moisturiser. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave you with my dad. He'll probably film a little bit. 
and uh, see you guys when he gets on site. Right then, that's one job done. Dropped off of Perry Road, green side. Trader uses for quite a while now. Now we're off to Broxtow. Next drop, see you there. Just like that, guys. Another happy customer. Just needs to deliver now, guys. So that's another happy customer all done and dusted. Now we're off to Ruddington. Might take us a little bit of a while to get there, but two ton of uh, sharp sanding bags and 10 cement, that one. That's another one done. Looks like the train is getting ready for some slab work. We're back in the wagon now, looking for our next destination. And it's Bakersfield for that final drop of three ton of sharp sand. And then what will happen, we're going to join Stevie on the fencing job we did yesterday. So then, this is a bit of a tricky one. We've got a parked car there, parked car there. So we've had to put them there. That's that done. Now we're over to Stevie. Back on site with Steve at. See if we can catch him out. Hello. What have you been up to, Steve? Three bays deep onto the third bay of the day. Three more to go after this. It's looking quite nice, though, guys. I've joined in there, so the job will be done. See you soon, guys. Just one and a bit more panels to go. So much better than what was here before. Blake's here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Last big hole to go. And then a small panel just passed. We'll show you when it's done, guys. So we are pretty much done. I'll just show you guys the final result. I'll just show you guys what it's looking like so far. So as you guys should remember, it was in desperate need of a change. Everything was crumbling away and it wasn't gonna last with new panels and new gravel boards. So as you can see, and as I said, we will go flush up to the fencing and do the job right. Then as we pan out, you can see it's looking bloody good. Hope the customer's happy. I'll just walk you down the side of the house. This is where we use the double gravel board. And believe it or not, there's double gravel board in that one as well. So as you can see, looking really smart. We've got the panel and the gravel board ready because there's just this gap here, you see? What we're gonna do is put the gravel board and the panel and a timber wall plate for this post so the customer's not actually having anything done with the gate. Get this gravel board, get this panel in there and then that will be a job finished and we'll be doing that a little bit later. So we'll show you when we come to do that because now, grabbing time. So we're just on our way to the tip now it's a busy one as well because it's half past two already and we've got a good few deliveries on still and we've still got to get back to finish that job so it might be looking like a late one again <laughs> another late one charlie's not going to be happy with me he is not going to be happy
to the yard to get three ton of roadstone, a ton of great granite, and then we can get that delivered and try and make this day as short as possible. But you guys should know by now, it's DJ Projects. We love a late day. Anyone recognize these gates? Look at them beauties. Right, we're all loaded up. Got some great, a bag of grey granite, decorative grey granite on the back. Three ton of lo loose, 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 <laughs> loose roadstone. Going to two different addresses. Once we've done them, we're going to go and pick up four bags. It's in inert waste. Inert waste, not insert. Inert waste. See you on site. Delivering that three ton of roadstone now. Dad's gonna try and get it over there to the left hand side of the gravel boards. He'll reach as far as he can, but it's only a five metre boom, so we'll have to see how far he can get it. So we managed to get it pretty much in the middle because as you can see, they're gonna use that hardcore for all over here. So we've got it in the middle for the guys tomorrow. Hopefully that's good enough. On to the next one, guys. It's definitely a late one today. Last grab of the day. And then we've got to get that fencing done. It's a late one, guys. It's half past four. And we finish at five. Not today, we don't. Definitely not today. Just like that guys, we are done with the grabs for today. Straight back to the yard now so we can change vans, get a little bit of fencing material and get to that job and finish that fencing. Oh, well then guys, it's quarter past five now and we've still got that fencing job to do. But we've had some free tarmac, so we just spread a little bit around the yard, gonna whack a plate it down. It might only last a month or two, but it's a free bear, so it's better than nothing, eh? And there was a few craters here, so we're going to fill them in. And then me and my dad are going to get that bloody fencing done. We will finish today. I lie, it's dedication from the lads, because we all finish at five. But no one's left. We don't leave anyone hanging. We help each other out when we can. We all appreciate that. So me and dad are going to go do that fencing now while these lads crack on with that. And obviously I'll show you guys when we get there. Look at these guys as well, making all these gravel boards every single day. And all those posts, cracking lads. Never run out of stock here. There's the wall plate that we was talking about. The panel and the gravel board in place. Made a hole so the gate closes and locks. That is pretty much it guys. I think they'll have us back out to sort this gate out. And they are definitely having us in the back to redo their sleepers. So I guess that'll be another video. Hope you've enjoyed it so far, guys. Do you like this fencing? If so, let us know in the comments. Right, guys, that's another day done. Another fence done, bit of busy one, but it's only six o'clock, so only an hour late. If you like what you see, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe, because remember, we are giving 1,000 pound away when we hit that's one pound of subscriber. So one lucky winner is going to win a thousand pound. It could be you. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday now. Another fencing job. New day, new job, new fencing job. So that's what I'm going to bring you along for today. It's only a small one as well today. It's only three foot total. So we're only using a gravel board and two foot panels. So it's only a little tiddler really, but it's around about seven bays. This is one of those jobs where someone sent an email in and rather than us go out to actually quote the job, he just sent a few pictures. So we gave him a price over the pictures and hopefully it doesn't come to bite us on the bum. A few of you traders might have done this before and you never know what you're gonna turn up to, but hopefully 
He sent the decent pictures enough for us to make an educated quote. I'll see you on site and I'll show you what we've got ourselves into. So then guys, this is where the fence is going. Literally just in front of this hedge. You can see how they've got these concrete posts, the old council concrete posts. Well, we're just going in front of them, up to the wall over there. So literally just in front. I'm thinking a couple hours for this one, maybe three hours, seven bees. Get it all in. We'll take you along the journey with us. It's looking like a nice easy one though. Hopefully the ground isn't too bad. And we can literally just get flush, no concrete, bound to hit a few roots. But hopefully it goes all guys. I think I'll put you on for a little bit of a time lapse just so we can crack on with this job, put a little bit of music to it, get you on a good angle and I'll catch up with you when we've probably done maybe three or four bees hopefully. So then guys, what do you think? Do you think it's looking nice? I think it looks small. I quite like these small fences. I think they look really small. We've done three, as you've just seen. Four more to go, working our way down to the shed. I'm not sure if it's going to be a full bay over at the shed. It might be a little cut, but we'll ring Jamie and get him to make that. We're just going to crack on, guys, and get this job done. flying with this fence ain't taking long at all probably only two hours in making good progress two more bays to go might be two full-size bays but we'll know a little bit once we've got this next one in looking nice though we don't mess around at dnj it's been two hours two hours working would you look at that hope you guys can remember what was there before tiny little one here digging this hole put the gravel board in send the measurement to Jamie and then we'll be out of here get that panel bring it back and that job is complete not bad for a couple hours work eh hope you're liking the video if so smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here because remember guys one thousand pounds to one of you guys my dad's just rang me he's been in the grab all day he's had a super busy one but he's got a grab literally two doors down from where I'm putting this fence in so he's picking up the panel that Jamie has made to slot in this gap. It's 124 centimetres wide, so definitely not a six foot bay. He's going to bring that to me in around about 15, 20 minutes. And then this job is officially complete. What do you think, guys? Do you like this one? Do you like the shorter fence? Three foot total, this one. If so, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think to it. I think it looks nice. So this is where we're doing our job. I'll just come out. And this is where we've got a grab. Two doors down. It's about networking people. You remember that landscaping company that was working across the road from us when it was a four weeks landscaping with the tarmacking and the sleepers? Well, these guys are doing a job here and they've asked us to pick this up. It's a small world when we've got a job two doors away. It's crazy. Dad's on his way now, it's gonna be 20 minutes and we'll get that gone as well. I've got a panel, Dad's arrived. I'm gonna go drop this in and show you what it looks like.
And just like that, this job is complete. Jobs are good in lads. Picking it up now. I'm gonna go back to the order, make some panels. Dad's got a few more grabs in West Bridgeford. He's gonna get them done and then we'll catch up later, guys. So I'm just back at the yard now, guys. I just thought I'd show you that we've uh, had a few deliveries today. Plenty of ballast, builder's sand and roadstone. Lovely ballast, builder's sand, some topsoil in this one if you want some, and our favourite, roadstone. Almost, almost 45, 50 ton in this bay here. Surprised. That goes so, so fast. We've always got it on order, making sure that we've got enough for you guys when you need it, all you traders, and to the general public, because we supply to both. Look at that. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of posts, all made by these guys in here. Cracking set of lads. Can't fault them, always get the job done. Still working now. Molds are ready with the steels, cracking. So guys, I'm jumping onto the panel master for an hour or two, gonna crack out a few more panels to make sure that you guys never get turned away for the 6x5s, 6x6s, 6x4s and 6x3s. So I'm gonna crack on with that. About an hour later, got a few panels made. I'm not sure what else there is to show you guys today. It's a, it's a quiet one for me. I've done the fencing job, dad's still out and about on the grab and I don't think he's been filming. But best believe he's been out there doing a million grabs. As you guys probably know by now, we're busy as hell. But we love it and we appreciate all the, all the custom. So guys, it's Wednesday. It's Thursday tomorrow. And we are on the sleeper job. Putting those block pavers around that sleeper edge. So guys, I will see you in the morning, bright and early, on the job. Good afternoon guys. It's been a super busy day. Dad's been all over the place on the grab and I've been smashing out a million panels. It can only mean one thing when we've got these red blocks and that sharp sand on this van. We're going to the tarmac and sleeper job. Trying to get this bit finished. Well, at least the blocks anyway. We might have to do the sleepers another day because I'm not too sure if the customer's in. But we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. And we'll see you on site. Well, 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 we are back people. Set a few blocks out. There's been a few customizations, so we've got a little bit extra work to do today. And then the next day, and then the day after that. <laughs> Just gonna customize a few of the sleepers up top. Then cut that off, and then I'll cut them blocks. Then. Afternoon, boys and girls of YouTube. We just pulled up, and the customers added a few extras on to the job. So basically, Customer would like a nice little angle putting on that, not a problem. Where we was going to put a full sleeper on either side, the customer would like half there and there. They want us to replicate what we've done here. Because we did we did this as an extra off our own back. They want us to replicate that on this side because they really like that. We're not cutting the lights out no more because the customer has bought lights but fit on the front of the sleeper. And where the existing wall was, we're literally going to put a little bit of tarmac in there for them. And that's it, guys. So the first job of the day, guys, is to replicate that angle all the way down to make it look a little bit flusher because that's what the customers asked for. So we're going to get on that now and get that cut. Top sleeper's got the angle. This is the bad luck job, remember? If you've not watched the YouTube videos, in the top right hand corner now. But the saw's packed up. Could be the fuse, so we're gonna change that and hopefully it'll get back to working. So we can cut this one. Steel saw all this line down here for us, so the tarmac's gone, ready for the blocks. He's just working his way on this side. I'll quickly show you those cuts. 
Clips are looking nice for the customer, just what they've asked for. I'm gonna set you guys up for a time lapse, put some music towards it as my dad does this side, and then we'll catch up after he's done. Just on to the last blocks now, people. Half past four. Get this bit finished for the day. And then we'll have to book in another time to get the rest of these sleepers done for the customer. Especially now we've had a few changes. So the changes are they're having another layer on there, filling in the back like the other side. A few more sleepers across there and obviously we'll have to put the trellis back on for them. We're going to relay these edging blocks as well because they've sunken a little bit so we're going to make them right for the customer throw a few shingle stones down there tiny bit of tarmac in there for them because that's where the old brick wall came up to so we'll make that right and that is pretty much it it's been a busy one but i've not filmed too much today people time. like my dad said yeah i've not had time so we're going to finish this here guys and we will catch up with you in the morning bright and early i've got quotes <laughs> and dad's got grabs <laughs> so uh we'll catch up in the morning guys good morning guys and girls it's friday it's the last day of the week today's a busy one with quotes for myself got around about 10 quotes that i need to get done same as last time in the last video i had a bunch of quotes easier to get them done all on one day rather than bitting and bobbing throughout the week my dad's just loaded up the grab he's got a hell of a busy day today as well i'm not sure how much we'll see of him today if he films i'll throw those clips in as well and then you'll be able to see what he's up to as well i'm going to bring you along for a few quotes i might not show you them all but i don't know what the customer is going to be like with the camera i don't want to get it up in their face like last time i was able to film one might do a few again this time and uh, bring you guys along for the ride it's been a pleasure having you guys watching our videos so far so if you could like this video we'd very much appreciate it and if you're brand new around here hit that subscribe button because we would appreciate that too and uh let's get quoting guys also i forgot to mention as well guys i've got the new uniform on for the quotes let these people know that we're on youtube now so then guys this is the first one of the day this customer wants brand new fencing and gate he wants decking on this area that we're standing on artificial grass there with a 600 by 600 slab walkway up to the end of the garden because where that panel is there that would be a new gate so i've just quoted that up in measurements took his email and we will get back to this guy on to the next one how do you guys measure up when you're doing quotes if any of you do do you go old school with a tape or do you go new school with the laser we personally will use both because sometimes you cannot see that laser, especially when it's bright. When it's dull and dreary like it is today, you can get away with this bad boy. It looks quite impressive as well. Oh, I'm at the next one, guys. For obvious reasons, obviously, I'm covering up the address. It's definitely Friday and it's definitely between 9 and 12, but nobody's in. 
I'm just going to wait until Maureen gives me a ring back to let me know if she's got a contact number to get a hold of the customer. And I'll let you know what happens, guys. No look, guys, Maureen can't get in touch with the customer. So it's on to the next one. I'm sure this customer will ring back and I'll just make another trip. It's no big deal. We'll get here in the end. On to the last one of the morning. I've done a few, but not showing you on the camera. This is the last one. As you can see, the customers had a few trees and the privet hedge taken down. I'll just zoom out so you can see it all. There's quite a big expanse, almost 14 meters worth. As you can see, they've already got concrete going up to the side of the house and they've got a privet hedge going up this side of the house. Well, they want to keep this one quite natural. So we're gonna go with timber posts and quite a fancy panel, I think this customer wants. So that's what we're gonna do. So I better get back to the office and get cracking on with this quote. So that's a few quotes done for today. My next one isn't until, I think it's 12 or half past 12 and it's 11 o'clock now. So that'll give me a chance to whip out around about 30 panels on this panel master. So I'm gonna start that. I'm not showing you guys either, cause this is, a, this is a separate video like I mentioned already. So I'm gonna crack on with that guys. And I'll catch you back in the van when I'm out quoting. I'm gonna give you one little sneaky panel. See what you think. Just like that, one panel down. So then guys, I've done a few panels as you've just seen. Seen that sneaky one? Well, uh, look out for the video probably next Wednesday and we'll release a panel master video on that. I've got some more quotes to go do now. Probably another five or six I think I've got to finish. I've spoke to my dad and apparently he's been filming. So I'm gonna transition you guys to him now, see what he's been up to today. And I'll catch up with you guys later when me and my dad meet up. Morning YouTube, it's Friday morning, quarter to ten. It's the first time I've had to uh, do a bit of video in. I'm at one of the jobs on our local traders. We're picking up that waste and dropping off five ton of grey granite. Here's the boys now. Cracking lads. Want anything doing, garden clearance and stuff like that, they're your boys. So, next time you see me, this will all be grabbed and we'll be on to the next one. Let's see guys, these lads do not mind getting their hands mucky. They love helping me out, absolutely love it. I've got one down there, Lucas himself, MD of the company. He's gonna take the bags off and hook them and his main man here is gonna hook them up. So that's what I like to see. Teamwork makes dream work. They're just tidying that up. I don't know if you can see that. I just dug that out for them just there with the bucket on the angle. So, another happy customer. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Cheers. And there's the bags. There's a load. Off we go to the next one. Right then, that's all loaded up. God, well, that was a bit tight. Getting that out. I should have shown you guys there, but we had a couple of uh, cars waiting for us to get out because there's one way in, one way out. So let's get this tipped off. And then we've got another pickup, another one of our traders. And then I think we're back to the yard to pick some bags up for another customer. 
Right then guys, here we are, the next one. Oh, let me just turn that crap down. Here we are, the next one. These lads weren't there previously, so we're not doing their filming on this one. I'll show you on the back when we're tipping it off at the same place, and then we're going back to the yard, grabbing some bags, probably we'll see what Steve's up to, whether he's done all them quotes, or whether he wants to join us. See you in the soon. I had a bit of a change of plan on that one, really. It was only half a load there, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my yard, top it up, because it was hardcore, there wasn't a lot of soil in it. I'm gonna top it up in my yard, like the stuff we, we've got, and uh, make it to a full load and get that tipped off. Uh, I think we'll go to Oakfield for that one. I've had to put it down here because I forgot the tripod, so I hope you can see me, or at least you can hear me. While we're driving back, it's, it, it's an half hour drive, so I thought I'll explain why we bought the Grab and a little bit about what we intended to use it for. What we intended to use it for was our own personal use. It was to deliver tum bags, grab inert waste from our own jobs, inert, just like that. I was gonna start using it now. Basically just run run stuff backwards and forwards for ourselves. But then traders got wind of, we've got our own grab. Would you do grab for us? And me being me, I seen the opportunity there. Money, money, money. So do you know what, yeah. I'll grab, I'll grab some waste for you. So I started grabbing waste for the local traders. They'd fill tum bags up. The tum bags we took out to them with the uh, ballast or sharp sand or limestone, you name it, whatever we put in the bags, decorative stone. They'd use them bags, fill it up with their waste, inert waste, the soil, the brick, the hard core and everything else, green waste. And then I'd come and pick them up for them. For a small fee and basically it took off from there i mean the grabs out every day now and it's not it's, it's paying for itself so i'm really happy about that i'm really really happy i'm glad i bought the grab and i'm glad we can help the other traders out as much as they'll ourselves are so that's why we bought the grab but obviously it wasn't it was bought for ourselves. It wasn't originally bought to help traders out. It was for ourselves, but obviously it just took off from there and it's absolutely brilliant. I'm really, really chuffed how the grab's going. It was a really good investment for the company. And that's where we're at with the minute. And if you're watching this and you are a trader and you, you do want some muck away, give us a call. Because we're, we're happy to help you out where we can. Or if you need some ton bags of uh, aggregate, or decorative stone, give us a call. We'll help you out. And if you are a company which are looking for a new concrete supplier, by all means, give us a call because we send Arctic loads of concrete out as well. Not just on the back of this little grab, but it's, we call it, it's called Big Red, but it's a baby grab. It's like a roller skate, it's a four wheeler. So hopefully in the future, we'll have enough money in the pot to buy another grab. So that's, what, that's where we're heading. That's the direction we're heading in the future. So that's where we're going, boys and girls. Next time you see me, you will be seeing me back at the yard, grabbing some of our waste, topping this load up, and then we'll get this one over to Oakfield. All right, see you soon. We're back in the yard. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some of our old posts and hardcore and everything else, grab that on the back of the wagon. And what I've got, I found one of our traders. What he's been after, he's been after my yucca for ages. So what I've done, I found him a little one. So Dave Lawncraft, if you watch these videos, you can have that. But if you don't watch these videos, you're not gonna know nothing about it. So if it's not collected within a week, it'll be going back to my house and in my garden. If you get, if you do get in contact with me, you can have it. But the only way you're going to find out is if you watch our videos. There we go, guys, just like that. Nice full load. No soil in it, Gary. And I'll see you in a minute. So then, people, here we are. We're at Oakfield Construction again. As you can see, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to tip off here, and then I'm getting Stevie to meet me, because he's out quoting in the Belingo, and the Belingo's got all the tools. I said, you know what, ring that customer up, and let's see if we can get them panels slid in. Look what have it, the customer is in, so we're going to get them slid in, because that job's in the hook as well. And I don't know if you can see, 
in the loading shovel there. That's that's Gary who I just mentioned earlier. Running joke with me and him. I, I slip a little bit of soil in every now and again, and he uh, he says, "Not too much soil, Dave." So this loo is absolutely clean, clean as own. What he loves. So we'll get this tipped off and meet Stevie and Upnall. So guys, me and my dad have met up. And I don't know if you remember from the previous video, we just had this panel and this M panel to slot in. Would you look at that? Customer's done an absolute amazing bit of work to get this garden transformed. You remember how I said last time, guys, where the patio was, the customer was gonna raise it with a decking? Well, he's raised it, put all these fancy lights in. Lovely fire, which I'm getting the heat off now, so you know it works. Even a gate to match, look. That's just doing the last bit of sanding. What a lovely garden this has turned out to be. I know you guys would definitely have something like this at your house, surely. It's amazing. This is it all finished and completed. There's the gate. He's had a shed from our neighbours next door. And this is what he did last time. Oh, would you look at that, guys? I think I'm going to get one of those fires as well. He's just told me the price. I'm going to get them before they all sell out. <laughs> Dad's off to go do more grabbing. I'm off to go and do some more quotes. It's been a hell of a busy week. Busy, busy, busy. But you guys should know that by now for D&J Projects. We appreciate you guys being along for the ride. And we'll sign out the video a little bit later. Right then, folks, I'm back at the yard. I'm loading all these bags up onto the grab, doing mortar drops. It is now 10 past two. So a couple of hours that should take me. And then that'll be it the rest of the day. I'll show you a couple of drops on the on the way. Lake's just loading up for me now. And then that'll finish the Friday off. And see you soon, folks. Do it, all people. Final drop of the day. It's for one of our traders. Fair bit of stuff going off. And we're going to pick some waste up. So I'll show you that in a minute. As you can see, it's the final drop of the day. Quite a bit of stuff. And then pick that waste up down there. One of our traders. I'll show you all on the back in a minute. Right then, that's the one done. Let's see. Bags of waste, that bag there, that's for tomorrow's live. I'm gonna do a quick one tomorrow, just come in earlier, get one out of the way. And there's Rob RC Gardening, he's used it for many years now. And there's all his bags. So people, back to the yard it is for me, that's the job done. Today being Friday, tomorrow being Saturday, a little shift for me and that's it, laters. What's good guys, today is almost over. It's quarter to five in the afternoon on the Friday, so the week is pretty much done. It's been a bit of a quieter one today, just a lot of quotes for myself, a million grabs for my dad, so he's probably not had a quiet one, but we're pretty much done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. Thank you for being with us. If you're still watching now, remember to like this video, subscribe if you're new around here, because remember guys, one of you are gonna win 1,000 pounds. That's just gonna go to one of you lucky guys who have subscribed and stuck with us from the beginning and we very much appreciate it. So thank you for that guys. And uh, we will see you in next week's video. Peace.